So here I am in the expert mode of Adobe Photoshop Elements and here you can see that I have um, uh, a picture of Suze right here. So let's say what I want to do is I want to select out these Suze and do a refine selection. So for that you can use utilize something called the refine as tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and select the quick selection tool right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and select the quick selection tool and click and drag around the Suze right here. So you can just go around and select this out as you can see. So let me just go around, select these Suze right here. The first Suze is selected and I'm going to go around and select the other Suze that I have over here as well. But there's an, a bit of excess selection over here. So I'm just going to go around onto the subtract selection and click and drag this around over here. So this is what you have as you can see and then now let's say what I want to do is I want to refine this but let me just go around and uh, add in a bit of selection over here. So this is it and you can go around and add in over here as well. So everything looks fine but the selection itself can be further tweaked in in order to make it even better. So to do that, you can go around over here and click on refine as. And once you do that, what happens is that you get a preview of the uh, selection that you made right here. And right now there's the view, but you can go around, see the matching and which is the default one, see the overlay of the selection mm. and so forth. As you can see, just like this, you can make it on black, on white right here, just like this on layer and see the difference that you have. So if I were to go around onto the layer itself, then this is what you have. And you can show the original over here just like this as well. But you can make some changes to this. So let's say I want to add in feather to this. So I'm going to increase out the feather and you can see how the selection would look if you add in a feather to it right here. So you can go around and see the feather increase and decrease. You can go around, increase up the contrast after you add the feather as well. And you can see that the selection is much more smoother these, uh, 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 this way. You can increase out the S or decrease out the S over here just like this as well. So you can go around, decrease or increase up the S right here just like this and work around with it. So once everything is done right here, you can go around and smooth it out even more right here just like this and work around with the radius just like this according to how you want. Once you're happy with the selection that you made right here, you can view it in other views as well. And even in the black and white, you can see that the white is the selected part and it looks much more cleaner than the original uh, that you had right here. You can show the original as well um, on how it was. You can go around and reveal out the layers over here just like this and work around with it. So once everything is okay, you can output this to a selection, a new layer, layer mask and choose different options as you can see. So you can go around, press selection and you can see that it just turned into a selection right here and you can move it out right here. Let me just go around uh, right here and press control D and then I'm going to go around over here onto a uh, the selection right here and let's see other selection options as well but for this I'm not going to use the quick selection but let me just go around right here and redo uh, the selection right here and then click on refine as. So once this is done you can also output this as a layer mask so that a mask is added and uh, the uh, uh, content is not actually deleted. Let me just press Control Z and go to refine as once more. And here you can see you can export this as a new layer as well so that a copy of the layer is made and uh, the layer beneath it stays hidden. Let me just go around, press Control Z over here, go to refine as right here and this is the selection. And now you can also go around and create a new document out of the selection as well. So this is what you have as you can see and you can go around onto the refine as and then new document with layer mask can be made as well. So this is how you can output the contents of the selection that you made by using the refine as tool as you can see and then refine out the uh, selection in different ways. So hope you guys learned something um, as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.